Hi friends, it's Rabbi Briskin with a thought for Shabbat. A small town was in crisis. Croydon, New Hampshire, population 800, was facing a 50% cut in its school budget. A group of concerned parents sprung into action. They found an obscure provision buried deep in a New Hampshire state law that allowed the residents to cast another vote on the school budget, but there was a catch. They'd need 263 people, half of all the registered voters in Croydon, to show up and vote, a seemingly Herculean task. In order to do this, sisters Anne and Angie began to canvass the town, talking to their neighbors, going door to door, pleading their case. Some residents were eager to show up, and some were just resistant to their pleas, including their neighbor, Nick. He told them he wasn't going to show up. He had his own reasons, some of which he shared. The sisters talked with Nick for 30 minutes, and although Angie and Anne weren't able to, con able to convince him to change his mind, their conversation was civil, honest, and it did not fracture a sense of friendship or community. When I heard this story on WBEZ's This American Life, it made me think of Saturday night's observance of Tisha B'Av that is upcoming. This solemn day, the ninth day of the Hebrew month of Av, marks the destruction of the first and second temples in Jerusalem, along with many other calamities that have befallen the Jewish people throughout history. Our sages offer many reasons for why the temples were destroyed. One is because of baseless hatred, in Hebrew called Sinat Chinam. They teach that the divisiveness among different factions, among different Jewish factions, led to the destruction of Jerusalem and the exile of the Jewish people. People were mean-spirited. They exchanged words of hatred, enmity, and bitterness, rather than words of respect and understanding and compassion. Civil conversations were few and far between, and in time, these internal divisions weakened the community and eventually led to the destruction of the temples. The lessons of Tisha B'Av and Croydon, New Hampshire are instructive. There is so much factionalism among different groups of people. We are talking over one another and not listening to one another. Families and friendships continue to be strained or even broken. Imagine if we followed the lead of Croydon rather than the lead of the Jewish communities during the time of the First and Second Temples. Imagine if we could have civil conversations with people who think differently than we do. Imagine if we could preserve our sense of community simply because we talk and listen, listen deeply. Imagine if we could listen with curiosity rather than contempt. Tisha B'Av is one of the most solemn days on our calendar. It provides warnings for our Jewish communities and beyond. So friends, may we find ways to tamp down the baseless hatred that continues to foment and learn to better love our neighbor as ourselves, even when we disagree with them. Please join me and members of our larger Bucks County Jewish community for a community observance of Tisha B'Av this Saturday night at Temple Beth El in Yardley. See below in the weekly email for details. Otherwise, I'm wishing you a Shabbat Shalom.